You already know what it is, DJ QB 96.5's on Louisville stand up. Pay close attention. I got one of the standout stars on the new hit series, BMF. You might not have seen him for a moment, or maybe you have. You know, he goes by the name of Saki on the TV show, but you yeah. might know or remember him as Lil Zane. Lil Zane, what's good? What's going on, man? How you doing, man? Man, I'm good, man. You know, first of all, I got to get this out the way, man. It's been a little minute, so should I be saying Zane or Lil Zane? Yo, still L-I-L-Z-A-N-E, you know what I'm saying? But ain't nothing bigger. Remember that. Ain't nobody bigger. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up, man. So, you know, first things first, man, like congratulations to you, man. It's good seeing you doing your thing. Thank you know, you. I've been watching the series, man, and shout out and salute to 50 Cent, man. I mean, Stop. the way that he's detailing and telling the story of the Flannery brothers yeah, and um, the 50 boys. Yeah. Um, You know, like, BMF is definitely going to be a monster. I mean, I can already see this thing going three to five seasons easily, but. Man, I'm talking about seven. I'm talking about, <laughs> I'm talking about seven, man. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, so what type of research, man, you know, like before we dig in too deep to Big Meech and, you know, Southwest T, you know, what type of research did you have to do behind the scenes to really find out about the 50 boys? Because this is all pre BMF. So like, you know, did you get an opportunity to meet the, the real characters that you're portraying? Um, if I met him, I wouldn't know. <laughs> you know, I think it's kind of like that. Um, you know, names have changed, dates have changed, places have changed, just for the sake that it is a real story. You know, nobody wants to incriminate themselves, I'm pretty sure. But um, yeah, man, I definitely had to do some research, man. Um, I didn't know it was a really a 50 Boys until, you know, everybody else learned. So I did my research. I watched tons of documentaries. You know, um, I tried to find every bit of information I could find about these about these guys. And um, also just listening to the director and listening to, like, you know, um, Randy of how these guys were and, um, you know, trying to trying to bring the best impression of them. I could, you know, bringing it bringing it to life as much as I could. No doubt. No doubt, man. So, you know, like one thing that I see that 50 really nailed and maybe I should give props to, you know, the show director and the people behind the scenes. Cause I mean, Man. even though he definitely is the producer, you know what I'm saying? Other show, but like to really the wardrobe, man, the time period. I mean, I grew yeah. up, I was a little itty bitty thing, but I, I remember the clothes, man. And they hit it dead on and all the way to the uh, Adidas top tens was really big in Detroit. So. Yeah, that was, that was, that was real big. I, I tripped when I seen that too. And um, like you said, just everything, man, the 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 detail that was put into this is is amazing. And um, you know, everybody from 50 to Randy to you know to Meech and, and Terry and you know um Terry Cop, one of the writers too, like they just did it and, and Tasha even just did an amazing job of of bringing this to life and 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 telling making you feel like you were in Detroit. You get what I'm saying? Making you feel like you were right there at that time, you know what I mean? So I think it's really, 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 really creative how they did it, and and really original and, and organic, because they they using they using Meech's son. You know how 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 organic can you get? You know, man. I mean, he's killing it, man. I mean, yeah. I never met Big Meech. You know, what I'm saying I always heard stories, but just his demeanor, even from the DVDs back in the day, it's like he's really right. capturing his father. So that's right. dope. Yeah, just shout out to Big Meech too, man. Um, Big Meech and shout out to Terry. Um, you know, you can see from the videos, the 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 millions of videos that's out there, the thousands of videos that's out there on these guys. That these guys were, you know, they they were no joke, but at the same time, they were so loving and so cool and so real and so, you know, at the so so it's kind of crazy. It's like you hear these stories of these gangsters and all of them, but then on the <laughs> other side. You got these stories of all this generous stuff that they were doing and for people and changing people's lives and different things like that, you know. So I think it's just an amazing, you know, um, contrast and just the way they put it together and how you get to see both sides. So how difficult is it in the aspect of really getting to some gangster ish? I'm saying, like, do you have to hit the gym when you're working out for this role or do you slap your little brother or 
cousins or somebody around just to to get prepared for these type of roles or or are you just like you know what this is easy i got this you know it's um really uh, it's funny because on set we always joke about how like this is one of the roles where you actually just get to play a real ninja you know since so you know <laughs> You just get to play a real ninja and i feel like i'm a real ninja so right no doubt like, no doubt it's like it's easy to play yourself in that of course you got to get it right you try to get the the walk because it's a period piece so they weren't walking the same way they was walking now they wasn't talking the same they were talking now so that aspect of it, you try to you try to hit it on the on the nail but the other aspect is these guys were just regular guys like me and you you know um the regular guys like me and you like nice cars like nice houses like Nice women, pretty women. You like pretty women, right? No doubt, no doubt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so you, it puts you in that state of mind where, yo, I'm getting, I'm getting paid to just play a real ninja, like basically, like that's <laughs> what it's kind of like. Like, yo, I got all I got to do is be real, you know. So, I think that was the funnest part of it, just being being able. The more yourself you are, you know, because I'm from the streets. I was raised in, I was born in Yonkers, New York, raised in Atlanta, East Side north side some rough parts so you know i just put my little where i'm from and my streetness to it to and you're not you try not to overdo nothing because you right. just try want it to be natural because these guys was really just regular dudes with money man you know what i knew you was from new york i didn't realize and i knew that you um was raised in atlanta but i didn't know you was from yonkers man so the home of mary yeah. jay, mary J, the locks yeah um uh, yeah. dmx hey. I used to babysit me, you know what I'm saying? I'm from Slow Bomb with, with DMX and Mary J and, you know, the locks, you know, they from Whitney Young and, you know, Moford Garden School Street. You know, I got hella family still out there, Rivers, Riverdale, you know, um, you know, I got I got Getty Square, I got I got hella family still out there. So I just came from New York recently, not so long ago. But um, yeah, man, my, my roots go back to Yonkers, New York. Shout out to Jada Kids winning that versus the locks, you know. <laughs> so, well man. Let's set the record straight, man, because for people that may not realize or even know, like, this isn't your first go round with acting. I think, and I'm not even for sure, but I could have swore, like, I've seen you, like, years ago on, like, one of those um, sitcoms or something. I, I remember you being, like, on, on a different yeah, I, show early on. Yeah, I did a couple sitcoms. I did um, I did um, Parker's show with, um, yep. you know, Calder's Park, the one-on-one, -on -one, you know, um, um Parker show one on one. I did um a couple other ones I can't remember off the top, but um, you know, I, I was in Atlanta recently, you know, um the show Atlanta. So, you know, I've been I've been on I've been doing my TV thing for a minute. It's just um I, I wanted to take some time off, man, and um, you know, get my you know, just just enjoy my life for a minute. I wanted to take some time off, enjoy my life, enjoy my family. You know, I recently had, you know, two I got two beautiful kids, you no, know. No. Um, a daughter and a son, you know, so they're, they're nine and 10, you know, so if you do that, if you do the math, it's like, you know, I can see why it took off a couple of years. Cause I wanted, you know, I wanted to be there with my youngest. So, you know, um, and I wanted, I had a lot of other opportunities to do things, but I wanted to, um, you know, come back in a major way. I knew I just can't come back with no mediocre stuff. Cause I had been gone so long. And, um, but the whole time I was gone, I kept working, you know, I believe in doing the hard work when nobody, when nobody's watching, so when they start watching, it looks effortless. You know what I mean? So I've been in yeah. the studio with different acting coaches, you know, running five miles a day, just hoping that, you know, I, I would be given a shot again in a in a in a way I want it. Cause you know, a lot of opportunities come, but you just you just because you can do it don't mean you should, you know. So um when 50 presented me with this opportunity, I thought it was amazing. I thought it was something I had just worked all my life for, you know, all these at least these last few years for. So and I was just thankful I was prepared for it. Man, that's really a dope story, brother. And you know, like, both prior to our call, I, I connected with you briefly, and I was asking you about music. So let's talk yeah. about the music game, because I mean, that's basically, you know, what kicked open the doors for you in the industry. So what's up with the music? Well, man, thank you for even asking about it. You know, it feels good to be back. Um, I got a new single out right now. I actually dropped my new single the same day that the first episode dropped. So um, the single's been out for. Um, about three weeks now, and um, it's doing really good. It's called 3:25 a.m. The video is out on my YouTube. Um, it's, it's going crazy. It's in the clubs in Atlanta. Um, like I said, the video is out. The single's out. It's on Apple Music. It's on iTunes. All digital music platforms. I'm in the studio right now working on my new album. Um, it's called um, Young Forever, and uh, 
you know, it's about to be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, man, what do you want to tell your fans out there, man, that, you know, they, they're seeing you on that screen. They haven't connected with you for a while. So what do you want to tell the people out there that haven't seen Lil Zane fans for a moment? I just want them to know that, you know, your boy is back, man. I ain't going nowhere. Um, it feels good to be back. I can't wait to connect with them. You know, they can reach me on my social media, Lil Zane's World, Facebook, Lil Zane, Twitter, Lil Zane. You know, it just feels good to be back doing what I love to do, man. And um, I got a lot in store for them, man. It's about, it's about to be a, a crazy, crazy next next few runs, next few years, man. I ain't going nowhere. So, um, you know, I got a, a couple movies coming out, a couple more TV shows in the works. So I'm just, I just plan to never leave them again. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing more and hearing more from you, man. And Definitely. I'm loving what you're doing on the show, man. Everybody's Thank got that real authentic energy. It Thanks. don't seem like it's over sensationalized. And, um, you know, you're definitely doing your thing, bro. So salute. Y'all appreciate you, man. Thank you for having me, too, man. And just want to tell everybody out there, man, if you haven't got it yet, make sure you get the Stars app. You know, you can't watch the show if you got the Stars app. It's the number one show in the world. You know, shout out to Big Meat. Shout out to Lil Meat who's doing an amazing job. Da Vinci. You know, and um, this is really a great show, man. I, I hope y'all tuned in. I hope you love it. For those that have, that have been tuned in, I know y'all on the edge of y'all seats wondering what's about to happen. And, um, you know, we just happy y'all enjoying it. We want y'all to keep watching and make sure you get that Stars app and stay tuned in. Y'all make sure y'all follow at Hip Hop B965 on yeah. IG, Facebook, and Twitter. And you can also follow me at DJQ1212. Yeah. Like the mic check. And one last time, Lil Zane. Make sure you follow him at Lil Zane's World. So salute. Yes. Bro, love. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for having me, too, man. I can't wait to come back. No doubt, man. Can't wait to have you in the studio. So I'll be looking forward to that soon as well. Yo, y'all make sure you go check that new single out and tune in every Sunday, 8 p.m., man. BMF, Black Mafia family. You know what it is. Y'all hearing it here first. DJ Q, Lil Zane. Let's rock. Cheers.